Hey DIY lovers, what's up and welcome back to my channel and happy Easter. So today's DIY video is making homemade Easter baskets. So I know there are still some people out there that buy those pre-made Easter baskets. No, no, homegirl does not do that. I'm gonna show you some items over at Target, the Dollar Tree, and Five and Below that you can fill your kiddos' baskets up. So I've never been one to buy those pre-made baskets because I just feel like they are overpriced. I was just in Walmart this same day I actually did not get to record because by the fourth store taylor was over it but it'll be a basket for like twenty dollars you'll get like a coloring book you'll get a ball and maybe like a piece of candy or something in it you might get um a little toy to play with and it'll be like twenty dollars for that one basket no 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 we want to pick up our own basket and fill it with all these great goodies at Target, the dollar store, uh, wherever you want to go. But these are just the places that I really love to shop. You can do theme baskets. I saw a ton of baby shark items to keep the theme baby shark. You can do Disney. You can do trolls. You can do action figures, adventures. So there are definitely a lot of items that you can make a theme basket. This year, I did not go with the theme basket. I kind of was just like, you know what? I'm going to pick up a bunch of items I know the kids are going to love. Um, so many of you guys know that I do have a two-year-old. I have an eight-year-old. And I have one that is about to be 12 in three days. So my Easter baskets have to be a variety of things because obviously what I put in Taylor's basket is going to be completely different than what goes in my 12 year old's basket. So um, I'm going to let you guys just run through these clips of all the stores and I pick up a handful of items, bring them back to the house. So I'm going to show you guys how I assemble the girls Easter baskets for all different ages. So I really hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video and I'll catch you guys all back at the house. So just real quick guys, Five and Below is definitely the place to go to get super cute and cheap Easter baskets along with the grass. The grass bag that I did pick up is fairly big. It was these ones right here and they are a dollar. I did not find um, colorful grass like this at the Dollar Tree and their, ba their baskets over at Five and Below are just super cute and they all range from about $2.25 to about $5.00. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because the grass over at Five and Blow is definitely so much cuter than the Dollar Tree. I know a lot of people head over to the Dollar Tree for certain items because they are a dollar and they're much cheaper. But for just a little bit more of your money, you can definitely get a better quality item. So definitely consider checking out Five and Below at some point as well.
Okay, guys, so this is a little Easter goodie box from Nana. Nana. Let's first say, Thank, thank you, you, Nana. Thank you, Nana. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. Nana's always been a really I great Easter basket maker, so I don't expect uh, anything uh, less. Oh, yay! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh, oh, my God. Oh, let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yay. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Seriously, oh, my God. We got... What is that? I think it light. Does it light up? Oh, look how cute that is! It has a little ball inside. Oh, I got gumballs! I got gumballs! No, that's not gumballs. Oh, gumballs! Oh, wait, that's for me. I think that's for me. What are those like bunny Hershey's? Definitely like birthday cake. Oh, look at me! What is this? No, it's What's this? Bunny. Look at that. Jelly bird eggs. Nana and Papa were not playing. They really Look at this. This is for Mommy. There's a Starbucks one, Celia. I know. Can you say thank you, Nana? These are all mine. All right, so let's put it all back in the box. So mommy can make your Easter baskets with all this great stuff. All right, guys. So I've made it home with all the Easter goodies. And that previous clip was the girls unboxing a bunch of Easter goodies my grandparents sent them. So I want to say thank you, Nana and Papa, for sending the girls all the great Easter goodies. Um, they definitely make the best Easter baskets. I remember as a kid always getting the best Easter baskets from my grandparents. So definitely appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble the baskets. Those eggs right there are eggs I bought last year on clearance. Um, for just a couple cents. So definitely after the holidays, try to just grab a handful of things. Definitely will save you some money the following year. Um, and this is Taylor's Easter basket. So obviously Taylor got the most, um, a lot of different goodies. She's the youngest. So I'm able to put in some little learning cards right here, her colors and numbers, some bath paint, some bubbles, um, a couple of books. I really love these books because she can't rip the pages out of. Picked her up some Moana sunglasses on clearance at Walmart. Don't skip out on your clearance. I found clearance at every single store, minus the dollar store, but Walmart, Target, Five and Below. Um, so Taylor's basket is definitely filled with a lot of different goodies. My Nana picked up these light up peeps. They're super cute. So this gold egg right here, um, I'm not going to open right now. I'm going to hold off and fill it with some goodies and then put it in her Easter basket closer to Easter. Um, the glitter was kind of coming out and I didn't want it everywhere. And um, I don't put any candy in the baskets yet. I'm going to wait and I'll fill the eggs and all the Easter baskets with the candy closer to Easter. But look how cute her basket has come out. Obviously, the puzzle couldn't fit in there, but um, each basket, I tried to stay around the $20 range. Um, the girls' baskets were probably about $22, $23, so I went over just a little bit, but um, not too bad. Um, that's just the budget I, I placed for each girl. Um, so here is me wrapping up the Easter baskets. I did get this paper at the dollar store, so you're going to need probably one roll per basket because even if you're making a little bit of a smaller basket, you might not get a full coverage if you cut it up so i just recommend grabbing one for a dollar per basket that you're doing and um i thought it was like it just came out really cute i wish i had a bigger bow for her basket not that she cares you know but mommy's all about the presentation so um that is taylor's basket so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything i did pick up for the girls baskets now i don't have their baskets yet i know people use umbrellas people use all type of things for easter baskets but um i have not been able to figure out what i'm going to put the older girls things in but this is everything i picked up for them i am going to personalize their little tumblers i picked up at target although they come with a little decal mommy wants to personalize it with their names and some different little things on it so stay tuned for that um, got Shania a little uh, change wallet, sanitizer for everyone, some socks, journals. Um, Shania loves five and below fuzzy pillows, so I picked her up that. Bracelet maker. Um, got Talia these tie-dye Crocs, um, which I picked those up at Walmart for $8 versus the ones I picked up my oldest at the at um, the shoe store, which were like $50. So I'm um, definitely check Walmart out. They got super cute Crocs in there. I think that's a little thing nowadays. Um, and this is everything I got for them. So um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to 
put it all together in what basket but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video share this video and as always subscribe to the channel and i really hope to catch you guys all in my next video thanks for watching